Hey everybody, check it out. These are some of my seed grown mango trees and they are acting really strange. Check it out. Here's a Popu Calais, also known as lemon meringue, seed, seed grown. And look, I thought it was polyembryonic, but look, only one shoot, one shoot came out from this seed. And yeah, here's another lemon meringue, lemon meringue mango. Took the seed and one shoot came out. I was expecting many shoots. Like, here's another. This is what I was expecting. This is another lemon meringue little seedling. And I was. this is what I was expecting. Polyembryonic, meaning many shoots coming out of the seed. One of which is the mother plant. And the rest, actually, all our mother plants, clones of the mother except one and the one is usually the, the biggest, strongest growing one. So this, this here on the left would be a new variety and then these small ones would be uh, exact clones of the mother, the Popu Calais lemon meringue. But here, that's not the case. Only one embryo came out. Now all these seeds came from, from mangoes that I got in Florida during my trip there last summer. There was from the, some of the best mangoes I ever had and I decided to plant the seeds because I know uh, there's a chance for, for varieties, certain varieties that are polyembryonic like the lemon meringue, you get uh, exact replica of the mother. But that's not the case for this and this and that's really confusing me. I was hoping someone out there with more mango knowledge could tell me what's going on. A little quick primer, uh, there's over 500 varieties of mango and you can basically categorize them into two subcategories which is polyembryonic meaning the seed produces many, many embryos many shoots and then there's monoembryonic which the seed produces one single shoot and and that single shoot is a result of some kind of pollinization that creates a brand new variety so it's not a clone of the mother it's actually uh, a different variety so here's here's the sweet tart mango this is a seed of the sweet tart and it was a major standout for me i really love the sweet tart mango and i thought it was monoembryonic but look look down there two shoots one and two this is actually polyembryonic the sweet tart my only guess really is that these these mangoes came from orchards where there were many different varieties planted right next to each other so there has to be some kind of cross-pollination going on yeah these 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 seeds either came from uh, the redlands fruit and spice park in homestead or truly tropical farms in uh, delray beach florida big shout out to truly tropical farms i had a great time there thank you har and chris for showing me around you guys have such amazing knowledge on mangoes i learned so much and uh, you guys should check out their YouTube channel because anything you want to know about mangoes, you can find on that channel. Here is a, this is a Fairchild seed that I got from the Fruit and Spice Park. And again, I thought Fairchild was monoembryonic, but nope. Look, polyembryonic. One, two, three, and four shoots came out of this one seed. So my question is, are the is one of these even though Fairchild is a monoembryonic is this are one of these shoots a clone of the mother? I'd really like to know if someone out there knows why uh, if a monoembryonic seed produces many embryos are one of them a, cl a clone of the mother? I'd really like to know because Fairchild again was another standout. I really really love that one, and I'm hoping to get a, a, a replica of that without having to graft. Here's a Cushman seedling. I really like Cushman. I got the seed from the Fruit and Spice Park. And Cushman definitely is monoembryonic. But, look down there, if you look real close, three embryos shot out. One on the left, the big one, and the one on the right. Strange, I, I, I was not expecting this. This is really, really weird. Uh, I saw an interview with Walter Zill, who's a major propagator of mango seeds down in Florida and he also said when he planted these seeds he saw crazy crazy variations so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised but this is really strange this is another lemon meringue guys 
lemon meringue mango that's producing a single shoot. Lemon meringue right there. Now get this, here is a, look at this, this is a Valencia Pride seedling. Now I planted all these seeds around the same time, within the week. They're all planted around within the week. Now if every, any of you have ever seen a Valencia Pride mango, it's one of the biggest mango trees out there. It's a huge, massive tree that can reach up 40, 50 feet tall with a 20 foot spread. But look at this tiny little weak seedling of the Valencia Pride. It grew the least out of all of them. It's about three or four inches tall and it's almost a year old. And also, Valencia Pride is definitely, definitely monoembryonic, but look, two shoots. Two embryos sprouted from this. Wild, wild, wild variation in seeds. That's the, that's the exciting thing about seedlings. You never know what you're gonna get. And I'm a big fan of seedlings here in marginal mango country. I think um, if you're in a climate where mangoes are not well adapted, I think, you should put, I think seeds will do better. This is another sweet tart. Sweet tart mango. One, two, three, four shoots out of came out of this little seedling. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna make a video of why I think seedlings will do better in this kind of climate. Um, but that's another video. Check this out. This is a carry, carry mango. It's probably my favorite mango out of them all. This is a seedling from the carry, and it's actually it's actually behaving. This is the only one that came out as I expected it, and it came out pretty normal. A single shoot. Carry is monoembryonic, so it should produce one shoot like that. So that's pretty normal. Yeah, that's about it, guys. I wanted to share with you some of my seed grown mangoes. I'm really excited. I can't wait to plant these in the ground. These are all less than a year old, and they're the tallest one is about a foot tall. I'm waiting for them to get uh, about two feet with a thicker trunk. And then they're going in the ground. And that's when we can really, really see what's the potential and the varieties that emerge from these seedlings. If you guys are growing mangoes from seeds, please let me know how they're doing. And if you've seen variations and anomalies and strange behaviors the way I'm seeing. Let me know in the comments how your seed grown mangoes are doing. I'd love to know. As always, give a like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.